Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better Show with your hosts, Lee Silver and Ellen Goodwin. Welcome to another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show. I'm Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host, Lee Silver. Hey, Lee. So today I have a question that I got from someone and I thought we could answer it. And the question is, do you have a good routine for getting going after lunch? And let me preface this with, there's so many people out there talking about, ooh, here's my morning routine. This is how I get going. I do, I do this and I do that. And it you know, sets my day up fantastically. But I think what we've got here is, you know, wow, that's great to have this morning routine. But what about, you know, you come back from lunch, you've eaten, you, you're hitting this whole new phase of the day. What can you do to get going after lunch? Is this a question for me? Well, it's for both of us, but I okay. want to give yeah, you I, I have a Boy, I have a, I have a lot of thoughts on it, but I'll keep it to my top three. And I would say the first one is, it depends when you take lunch, first of all. Good point. So um, for me, uh, when things were normal, I would always have to pick the kids up from school around 2.30. So my day ended early. So I would eat my lunch earlier than most people do, like around 11. And I would try and eat as quick, not like shove food in my, but I would make a <laughs> shake or something that only took a few minutes because my day ended earlier than most people. So I'm kind of, you're lopping off some time at the end of the day. So a quick lunch for me was one of my secrets and having a little bit earlier was better. And then um, after whatever my break was, when I was eating lunch, I tried not to fall into the trap of watching TV or, you know, I'm not a big believer in lunch, in lunch dates because I feel like that takes way too much time. Oh, yeah, if, yeah. Unless it's something really important and that person is a game changer for you. So uh, anyway, I would have a quick lunch and I would do it alone without, you know, like finding something that would suck me into a, a void of, of time. Uh, the other thing I would say is where I would try and leave off at the end of the morning, something to start the next part of my day that was easy to do. I felt uh -huh. cause you know, it, it, with all the caffeine and then all the <laughs> shakes, you still like Ugh, afternoon. And then, and then lastly, um, I would always put some time cause everyone thought I was at lunch, right? From it's fine to say from 12 to one, you're out, you're out of the office, you're at lunch. Right. So those, that time was no distraction time. And I could get so oh. much more done by just lot, taking, so I'd have breakfast at 11 to 11, 10, and then, you know, maybe get back to work. And then from 12 to one, nothing, just project, whatever the main project was. So there you go. That's only one person's uh, strategy. I could give you other suggestions, but those were ones that I know worked because they worked for me. Okay. Okay. Well, some of mine would be, you know, to, to really pay attention to what you have for lunch. You know, if you're eating heavy, heavy junk food, yeah, you're going to go into this carb coma later on. So I would say protein, watch mm -hmm. and, you know, make sure you have protein for lunch. So you've got the energy to keep going and to reset. I mean, especially, you know, we're still in lockdown. Uh, Lee and I are still not even in a studio together. So if the sound is wonky, that's why. So a lot of people are, are still working at home. So get outside. I mean, that would apply too when you go back to the office. After lunch, go outside, get some vitamin D, take a walk around the block. You know, you don't have to take a 20 minute walk, but take a, a walk where you get some, some sunlight, you get a change of pace, you get a new venue. And then you come back and work. Now, for some people, the opposite might work. Take a little power nap. So you're ready for the afternoon. You know, I, I know everybody can't do that. For some people, a little nap is just, that's the end of the day. Because you're just like, oh, I'm not getting up. Not getting up. Um, or do a little workout. I mean, I think all of it is, like you said, you know, if you have this lunch, you, you kind of shift your mind frame. So bring things back, bring the energy back up, do some working out. And worst case, put cold water on your face so you really wake up and then you start your afternoon. Anything to add? You don't think so? <laughs> How do I follow that up? That's so unique. I'm just going to pour some cold water. I was going to say drink the water. It might be good. You know, hydrate and stay, you know, alert. Um, no, those are, those are, I think those are, 
exactly the same thing. So my three plus your three or four, yeah. those, those are some, yeah, some really good ideas. And I know for a lot of people, um, lunch, some, sometimes they don't even have time for lunch. I think it is important to take a break, it, it, no matter how short it is. You know, eating at your desk while you're, you're working, it just makes the day seem so much longer. And when it's over, you're so much more exhausted. Yeah, yeah. So use your morning routine to get going, but then put together a routine that takes you from lunch to the end of your day. And it's equally important. So think of some of the ideas that we just talked about, put them into your day, and always make sure you have time for the next episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show.